C.S. Lewis says that humility is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. Hello, dear friends. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. An argument arose among the disciples as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side, and said to them, Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among all of you, is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. Jesus does not use reprimanding words to silence the disciples' argument about greatness. He knows that he is dealing with inflated egos and no words are potent enough to deflate them. Resorting to another strategy, Jesus places a child before them as a visual aid to call their attention to the upside-down values of God's kingdom. In their time, children occupy the lowest step in the social ladder for their legal status is that of a non-person with no right of self-determination. To shock the disciples' inflated egos, Jesus identifies himself completely with a child. This identification has serious implications for anyone, whether then or now, who sees children more as mouths to feed and as burdens rather than blessings. If to welcome a child is to welcome Jesus and his Father, then the reverse is also true. To reject a child, including the unborn, is to reject Jesus and his Father. Ultimately, it could mean closing oneself off from the kingdom. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to rediscover true greatness in littleness. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the gospel. Music